Masiru, good evening, Takwana. Thanks for joining us again. Now, Tom uh, Tabane is in the lead. Was this expected? Well, for now, Tabile, as I say, it's early days, but yes, in the votes that have been counted up to now, and we're talking about peri-urban areas, yes, we're expecting ABC to lead because that uh, is its strongest support. But I can tell you that um, the Democratic Congress has now had two seats. The Lesotho Congress for Democracy has one seat. The Movement for Economic Change has one seat. And the Popular Front for Democracy, uh, this is the ally or the ally of the Democratic Congress and the Lesotho Congress for Democracy, they have two seats, which is uh, quite surprising because they're a very small party. But what I can also tell you, Tabile, is that from what we can read out of this outcome is the low voter turnout that we've been talking about. Now, it's an average between 56 and the lowest is 38. So we are waiting for the final results, trickling in very, very slowly. But up to now, as you say, 31 of those 80 constituencies now published officially. Tabile? Ntakwana, looking at previous results, I mean, we were speaking about this yesterday, saying that in previous election there was never an outright winner. Some of the interventions that we saw before the elections, looking at what the SADC um, facilitator had done and some of the meetings that the AU um, had with regards to Lesotho, do we think that this might impact how this election goes with one majority winner? No, Tabile, not at all. Um, as we can see right now, as I say, um, these parties are getting on average 50%. The highest that the ABC got was a 60%. And so this will determine how much of the vote they get nationally, and this will determine the seats that they get from the proportional representation. But up to now, as I say, the ABC out of the 31 counted, the ABC now has 26. So it's still early days, we're still counting, but uh, the likelihood is that the more uh, rural areas uh, in the mountains, this is where the stronghold of the Democratic Congress and the original Congress parties, the Lesotho Congress for Democracy, will be. That's where probably they're going to gain some ground. But also worth noting is that the leader of the Basutu National Party, uh, that is Tisila Masiribani, is not officially announced yet, but official channels within, within his party say that he has lost to the Lesotho Congress for Democracy, and that, that is another rural area. But also very painful at the moment for some of us women is that the only woman political leader in Lesotho has lost her constituency and that is Keke Zoranzo of the Reformed Congress of Lesotho. She got a painful 259 votes out of nearly 6,000 uh, that were cast in her constituency. Tabile? Takwana, we'll have to leave it there for now. We'll be crossing to you a little later for more updates on those election results. That was our reporter Takwana Ngatana joining us live from Maseru. More news after the break.